Self-improvement presence. 8. Top Positive Personality, How to Tell if You're Thriving. Creating a lifestyle that rewards you for being yourself is one of the top positive personality traits to have. People who thrive in life emphasize quality over perfectionism and believe that they are good enough, which can motivate them to do things that matter to them. Thrivers also tend to be honest workers who don't waste time on pointless activities or behaviors that don't bring them happiness. They're aware of what makes them happy and go after it with vigor. There are many ways to identify a person whose existence promotes success and happiness for themselves and those around them. This article will talk about some important qualities of a thriving individual. You are optimistic. We all have our days when we feel low, depressed, or even hopeless. But there are also times when we can find ourselves feeling upbeat, motivated, and thriving. Thriving means living in a state of well-being, which is more than just being happy. It is having your life move forward with energy and motivation. You may not feel like you're thriving today, but chances are you will tomorrow. It's impossible to always be happy, so why try? Rather, ask yourself what you need to do to make your daily lives happier and healthier. You are friendly. Being friendly is one of the most important traits in our lives. When we are friends with people, they will agree with us and believe in us more. They will want to spend time with us and include us in their groups. Friendly people have a lot of friends because others feel comfortable around them. It is not just your normal friendliness that makes this happen, it is actually your happiness that comes through when you are around other people. When you are happy, then people can tell. Your smile, your laughter, how well you talk, all of these things contribute to making others feel relaxed and safe. It is very difficult to be unhappy about anything for longer than two minutes without someone else noticing. So, if you see something happening that could make someone else uncomfortable, you should try to fix it or remove yourself from the situation until later. You are positive. It is very hard to be positive all the time, but you can pick your moments. When things go well, you can celebrate. When something good happens, make a note of it and reward yourself with something fun or at least treat yourself to watching your favorite movie. You can also do something you have been wanting to do for a while now, such as going out to eat or taking a bath. Just make sure to emphasize healthy habits in between treats. On the other hand, when bad things happen, don't take them too seriously. Try not to let it affect you much unless it is an important matter that requires action. Instead of feeling down, Try looking forward to what has happened so that you can focus on more pleasant experiences. You are healthy. A major component of thriving is being aware of your health. If you feel tired all the time, it can be because you don't eat enough food or you spend too much time watching TV. You may also notice that you are not making as many friends these days which could be due to a lack of interest in things that were important to you before, work, school, hobbies. All of this can add up to less happy thoughts which then affect your mood. If you recognize any of these symptoms, talk about them with your doctor so you can find out what is causing them and hopefully help yourself get better. It's totally normal to feel unhappy sometimes, but when there are lots of risk factors present it becomes more than just a dip in happiness. It becomes something more serious and life-altering. You are creative. Being creative is having ideas of all sorts from writing, painting, designing, making things with your hands, sculpting, creating works of art, baking, cooking, etc. Being creative. Being creative can be doing something new or different that people have done before. It can be producing what others have produced before so it is not necessarily an action or expression that has been done previously. It could be finding new ways to do something that other people have also done before. Being creative comes more than just thinking about creativity and acting upon those thoughts. It takes someone who is creative to bring their creativity into play. People who are considered artistic are individuals who use their imagination to create images, designs, and concepts in many areas such as music, literature, theater, fashion, and design. These individuals may focus on practical applications for their creations, but they are still using their imagination to achieve them. You are confident. There is a reason that people tend to trust other people more than objects or things. When we feel like we do not have much control over something, we sometimes lose faith in it. That goes beyond thinking of yourself as a good driver who has never gotten into an accident. 
It can mean believing that your current job does not pay well enough or that someone else should be doing your job. It can also mean giving up on someone you are investing time in. If they constantly disappoint you, why continue to invest in them? With respect to relationships, there is some research suggesting that when we perceive a relationship as stable, then we will give less priority to our own goals because we assume they will still exist next week, tomorrow night, etc. So, how can you know if you are experiencing a period of growth where you are feeling more positive about yourself, and others, than ever before? Here are 10 signs. You are assertive. According to psychologist Robert Feldman, being assertive is one of the most important personality traits for human beings. He says it helps you get things done in this world, and can make your life more enjoyable. Being assertive comes with the ability to speak up for yourself and others, and to ask for what you want and need. It also means a knowing when to take action and how to motivate yourself to do so. Without self-confidence, success becomes very hard to achieve, he notes. Having strong self-esteem makes us feel good about ourselves, which motivates us to keep going even when we might be struggling. It may help us focus on doing our best instead of trying to fit into someone else's idea of perfection. You are dynamic. It is very important to recognize that you are not always having fun, living in your own mind is. You experience many different emotions, from excitement to frustration to boredom. It is easy to get distracted by all of these emotions, but it is also important to be aware of them so you can identify what is happening around you and why. This way, you will know how to fix any problems that arise and how to use those experiences for something positive. Dynamic people show their true colors when they are being stimulated or challenged. They remain consistent though, just like my dad says, he never changes his personality even if he doesn't have anything to do. Dr. Robert Plunkett has a whole book about this called Curious People, The Nine Tools for Creating an Amazing Life. I recommend picking up a hard copy since you can read each tool in detail and refer back to past tools as needed.